BYD is shaking up the EV industry once again with its groundbreaking plug-in hybrid powertrain that's setting new benchmarks in efficiency and performance with a completely reimagined engine and transmission. This innovation promises record-breaking features, but can BYD truly deliver on its bold claims? And when will car enthusiasts finally get their hands on this game-changing technology? Stick with us as we uncover everything about this revolutionary leap and what's in store for the near future. Just a few months ago, BYD introduced its fifth-generation DM plug-in hybrid powertrain, a true game-changer in the world of electrified vehicles. It's available in three distinct variants, the efficient DMI, the high-performance DMP, and the rugged off-road DMO. This powertrain really redefines hybrid technology. Its staggering thermal efficiency of 46.06% is unmatched, and it boasts the world's lowest fuel consumption at just 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers. With an astonishing driving range of 2,100 kilometers, this hybrid system is the result of years of development, meticulously designed alongside BYD's cutting-edge battery technology. The first lucky models to receive this innovation are the sleek BYD Chin LDMI and the Sporty Seal 06 DMI. Before diving into these exciting new models, let's rewind a bit and explore how BYD became a powerhouse in electric mobility. Founded in 1995 in Shenzhen, China by Wang Chuan Fu, BYD originally specialized in rechargeable batteries. However, in 2003, the company made a bold move into the automotive world, launching its first vehicle, the BYD F3, a compact sedan that quickly gained popularity for its affordability and fuel efficiency. Then, in 2008, BYD revolutionized the market with the F3 DM, one of the world's first plug-in hybrids, setting the stage for its electric future. Meet the BYD Chin LDMI and Seal 06 DMI. Fast forward to today and BYD's latest creations, the Chin LDMI and Seal 06 DMI, are really making waves. The Chin LDMI, a stylish sedan that rivals the Toyota Camry, comes with a 1.5-liter four-cylinder naturally aspirated engine paired with an electric motor, available in either 120 kilowatt or 160 kilowatt configurations. Battery options range from 10.08 kilowatt hours to 15.87 kilowatt hours, delivering an electric-only range of 80 to 120 kilometers depending on the model. These powertrains aren't just concepts, they're already in full production, ready for customers who are, you know, eager to experience the next evolution of hybrid technology. BYD isn't just following trends, it's actually setting them. Are we witnessing the future of hybrid mobility? Well, one thing's for sure, the competition is officially on notice. BYD's stock has since experienced a boost, with its shares jumping almost 7% a week after it was launched. BYD isn't just driving, they're kind of speeding past the competition. CLSA has some predictions that by 2026, BYD will enter the top 5 automakers in the world, with 92 octane gasoline priced at 7.4 UN, which is equivalent to $15 per liter, running costs are around 0.25 UN per kilometer. This brings it closer to the cost of pure electric vehicles, which average about 0.16 UN per kilometer. BYD pioneered the plug-in technology back in 2008 by launching its first hybrid car, but automakers have since released their own cars with ranges as high as 2,000 kilometers. For example, on May 24th, Lee Auto introduced the L7, boasting a 254-kilometer range, fuel consumption of 3.8 liters per 100 kilometers, and engine thermal efficiency of 41.8%. In March, Geely Auto also revealed a hybrid system offering a range of over 2,000 kilometers, fuel consumption as low as 2 liters per 100 kilometers, and thermal efficiency of above 46%. Aside from local brands, BYD is also competing with Toyota and Honda. While Toyota and Honda's hybrid engines have a thermal efficiency of around 41%, BYD's fifth-generation DM engine stands out with a higher efficiency of 46.6%. BYD's cutting-edge technology marks a major step forward in the global hybrid vehicle market, and the Chinese company is, you know, likely to pull even further ahead of its rivals. However, this sudden price drop sparked protests among customers who had already paid the higher price and had waited months for delivery. With banners in hand, these frustrated buyers expressed their dissatisfaction, feeling that BYD had undervalued their commitment and loyalty. In spite of all these controversies, one thing is clear. BYD takes the lead in the EV industry generally. Independent mechanics are known for their more individualized care and, you know, cheaper rates, 
but they often have difficulty maintaining the equipment and diagnostic software required for extensive repairs. Self-employed mechanics frequently take great pride in their work and really cultivate enduring bonds with their clients. However, these mechanics might be limited in the range of services they can offer if they do not have access to the relevant data and updates from manufacturers as a result of proprietary software. The constraints to accessing these tools change the entire landscape of auto maintenance and repair. This simply means that these mechanics risk losing customers, and the customers themselves would spend more on repairs. The auto repair landscape is evolving and honestly, not necessarily for the better. In an attempt to reduce the impact on independent technicians, some automakers are providing repair information, diagnostic tools, and manuals to mechanics, though often at a cost. This helps repair shop service electric vehicles, but it limits free access. EV companies also perform many repairs remotely through software updates, reducing the need for in-person service. To fill these gaps, some deploy mobile technicians. However, completely relying on remote fixes and mobile reps risks limiting independent shops' roles. As a result, some manufacturers collaborate more closely with third parties through training, tools, and support. Customers are also worried that automakers may be economizing by sacrificing some features. This calls for urgent attention because producing vehicles that are less dependable or have shorter lifespans could discourage customers from purchasing them in the future. This may start a cycle in which businesses cut costs without addressing the underlying problems with quality. People may start to feel less confident in purchasing electric vehicles. If cost-cutting initiatives make automobiles less dependable, this might slow down the transition toward more environmentally friendly transportation as customers continue to hold quality and trust very dearly in their choice of automobiles. Navigating the high stakes of owning and maintaining electric vehicles becomes a crucial consideration for any prospective buyer, extending far beyond the initial purchase price. It's not uncommon for customers to want to cash in on their automobiles after several years of use, viewing their vehicle as a significant asset whose resale value is a key part of their long-term financial planning. One significant barrier to this, however, is the powerful role of public perception. If people are made to believe, whether through anecdotal evidence, misinformation, or legitimate concerns about battery degradation, that electric cars are less robust or have a predictably shorter functional lifespan than their internal combustion engine counterparts, then the resale value of electric vehicles may decrease dramatically. This potential depreciation creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. A decrease in resale value can cause prospective customers to avoid buying an electric vehicle in the first place, fearing a poor return on their investment, which further challenges the growth and stability of the market for these cars. Compounding this issue of perception and value is the very real challenge of infrastructure development. It's also entirely possible that the necessary infrastructure for electric vehicles, such as widespread reliable maintenance facilities equipped with specialized tools and a dense convenient network of fast charging stations, won't expand quickly enough to keep up with accelerating consumer demand. If the day-to-day -day experience of charging or maintaining an electric vehicle becomes consistently very difficult, excessively time-consuming or unexpectedly expensive for a person, the initial appeal of lower running costs and undeniable environmental benefits can quickly fade, replaced by a sense of frustration and range anxiety that extends beyond the battery to encompass the entire ownership experience. This practical inconvenience and lingering uncertainty about the availability and reliability of support infrastructure create a significant psychological barrier. Faced with the stark contrast between the well-established, predictable, and readily available ecosystem of conventional gasoline vehicles, where refueling is a five-minute affair available on nearly every corner, and most mechanics can perform repairs, and the potentially fragmented electric vehicle landscape, consumers may ultimately choose to retreat to the familiar. This retreat is not merely a rejection of a product, but a vote for convenience and predictability thereby actively slowing the broader societal transition to sustainable transportation, a transition that fundamentally hinges on widespread willing consumer adoption rather than forced compliance. This scenario creates a critical juncture for the automotive industry and public policy, where the future of electric mobility depends not just on the cars themselves, which are rapidly improving in performance and affordability, but more critically, on a synchronized large-scale effort focused on building a robust, user-friendly, and accessible supportive ecosystem.
This ecosystem must include not only a pervasive network of fast charging stations, but also standardized repair protocols, accessible training for independent mechanics, and clear policies that assure long-term value. Ultimately, conquering this multifaceted challenge, which spans the critical domains of infrastructure density, technological reliability, cost transparency, and educational outreach, is absolutely essential to building the deep-seated, unshakable consumer confidence required to make electric vehicles a truly viable, attractive, and mainstream choice for the long term. This confidence is not built on marketing slogans alone, but on a foundational trust that an electric vehicle will integrate seamlessly into a person's life without imposing new burdens or anxieties. It requires potential buyers to feel assured that charging will be as convenient as refueling, that long-term maintenance costs are predictable and manageable, and that the vehicle's value will remain stable over time. Achieving this level of trust is the pivotal step in moving electric vehicles from their current status as a niche alternative, often favored by early adopters and technology enthusiasts, to becoming the default logical option for the average driver who prioritizes practicality, economy, and peace of mind above all else. This transition will mark the moment when electric vehicles cease to be a conscious choice and simply become the new normal, fundamentally reshaping our transportation landscape for generations to come.